everybody, I am Kosa Christopher. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a basically a walkthrough or first impressions gameplay of Ghost of Tsushima on PlayStation 4. We're going to be using the new LG C1048 or CX48, however you say it. Um, obviously I've already played this right. Um, I'm recording this intro afterwards and, and my first impressions of this game is the game is a beautiful game. Like. The lens is not picking up all of the, you know, just granular, minute details that they have in this game, from the lighting to the shadows to the the, the, the textures of the canvas. Um, it's an amazing game. Um, first and foremost, like the, the storyline from the beginning is like riveting and pulls you in, um, and it just looks damn good. And um, what I'm going to do right now is just kind of go through what my settings look like. I'm not a I'm not a calibration professional or anything like that. And most of these things are going to be based on what I personally like. Um, you know, I like my games to look, not necessarily what the you know, studio might intend it, but we're gonna go you know, kind of through the settings a little bit right now. Um, I just finished the, or I finished in the last, you know, while I was recording this, I finished the first act, if you will. Um, a little over 35 minutes and other people may take so you know sh shorter time longer whatever um i'm playing on medium um but this is where i am now and if you look at this game like you can just see that this is just a beautiful beautiful game and uh, i guess let's get up here and get somewhere where we can kind of look at the lighting and then we can talk about what my settings are for this game so you can see the dynamic range. Look at him as the light is on his back. And you know the the you know there's no light to his front right now, so it's shaded. Um, but as you turn around. You can see that he's well lit. And you can also see that it's darker that way. And just look how the shadow changes with the light source and the direction that the light source is going. I mean, this is just nuts. I mean, I'm an 80s baby, so like when you start seeing this type of technology, just look at the, the moonlight, how it hits the ground and reflects in the water and how it changes as you change your camera view. Look at that. That's just amazing. but. Um, real quickly, I'll go over what my settings are for right now. And again, I might change this a thousand times. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I'm not the type of person who's like, oh, I'm gonna set it up this way and that's all it's gonna be. Like, I might change this a thousand times, but um, I have it in picture mode, game user, meaning it's a little bit changed, but OLED 100, contrast 100, brightness 50, sharpness is seven, color 55, tint zero, and then like advanced controls, dynamic contrast off, dynamic tone mapping off, super resolution off, color gamut is uh, on auto, white balance is whatever it starts with, I'm not even going to that, color management system, not even going to that, um, because I'm also not changing any of that. Um, I don't want you guys to have to sit here forever just listening to this. Noise reduction off, impact, uh, noise reduction off, smooth gradation off, <laughs> black levels on auto, Real cinema off, motion eye off, true motion off. Um, I mean, and, and that's really it, you know, for the settings now. A lot of this is because I used a Vizio 4K um, monitor for the longest time. And, and you guys, if you watched the last video that I, that I made for first impressions of this, you'll see that as I'm taking that monitor, that TV down. Um, I don't even know what a lot of this stuff does. <laughs> just let's just be honest. Like I don't know what a lot of it does, and I'm not. So right now I'm not using it. So if any of you guys want to explain, you know, not just to me but to anybody else that's watching this video, what those different features do, um, you know, and I'll go over them again. I'll go back down to the advanced settings, um, dynamic tone mapping, dynamic contrast, super resolution, um, and then in the picture options. Uh, noise reduction, MPEG noise reduction, smooth gradation, black level. Um, I just don't use a lot of those things because I'm not used to having those options. So, I mean, I'm playing kind of bare bones with 
what the game gives us as the initial options, and I just kind of, you know, walk, you know, I play it as is, but just look at this game, like, the lens is not showing you, and I know I have the camera, like, an angle right now, so you guys can see me a little bit, but um, in a second here, you'll see my first, you know, walk through the first act, and this game is just, it's beautiful, and honestly, I haven't been able to record a lot this week, so I kind of was, <laughs> I wanted to play it, but I didn't want to, like, go, you know, go forward without showing, you know, starting where I stopped in the video, blah, 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 but, um, I'm anxious to jump into this this weekend and look, get a little bit more of the storyline. But um, this is, again, it's just the first impressions It's uh, of this game on the LG C1048 um, and a walkthrough for you guys. If you don't have the game, I'll only do the first act so that way it's not destroying the story for you or anything like that. A lot of people probably have done their first 20-minute walkthroughs and whatnot. Um, but it's an amazing game, and this TV is just... This TV is phenomenal, and what I'll do, um, it's gonna be jittery, so let me do this real quick, because I know a lot of people are like, what does it look like on your desk? Um, because I had a 43 inch. So, I'll say that my desk is from here to the wall, 33 and a half inches, somewhere around there. It's not, it's not exact because of the wood. So 33 and a half inches, and then I have my desk like four inches from the wall. So it's total of like 37 inches, um, from the front of my desk to the back of the wall. However, the TV sits literally right above the edge of the back of the desk. It's about four inches from the wall um, on the mount and things like that so that there can be cords behind it and whatnot. Um, but again, from here to here is 33 and a half, four inches to the wall, 37 and a half to where I sit in the front of the desk. And the desk length is 84 inches. So from here to here, it's 84 inches, um, had this built to sit into this space. Now I'm gonna move my camera so that you guys can see how big a 48 inch TV is sitting on that, on those dimensions. So again, when you look at the edge of my desk, 84 inches, and then from the front to the back is 37 inches pretty much and that's what it looks like on you know in comparison so if you're wondering like how big it is when I'm sitting there at my desk playing that's the size and again sorry for the shaky film but I'm just trying to sh illustrate um, you know and that's you know what it looks like up close But yeah, that's, so I mean, that's, you know, that's my setup, right? So 84 inches wide, or, you know, desk 84 inches wide, 33 and a half inches deep, four inches from the wall. Um, and that's, um, you know, where I sit. So when I'm sitting in my chair, I'm not, this is how far I am. To the desk. Um, big back playing the game. And it's actually not that bad. It's not that bad at all. It's a good distance. First, let's get the bonus content that comes with the the deluxe edition. Art book. So I to enter her. Concept art. Reminds me of, uh, I think it was called Tenchu back in the day. Alright, let's go here to the game. 
Let's see what we're talking about here. I'm excited. Waited for a while to get this, and actually, I'm just gonna wait a little bit to play it, but. So Japanese dialogue with English sometimes.
てるはずの戦に全て行き交ってきたんだ,だから己が刃を取る間に我らの手はずは整ったまあ、なんだなこの国のことはしきたり信仰どの村を買いなし焼き払うかも今一度己にとる侍を我にくだるかも Beautiful. It's everywhere. It doesn't look like the lens is doing any good to actually show what it looks like. This is crazy. All the different highlights, shadows. Look at the moon. Let's just look at that. Doesn't even look like it's getting the whole thing. This is breathtaking. This is gorgeous. Sneak mission, I didn't even notice it. Good morning. 
の方向におった無事か俺の鎧壊れてよかれだがあれだけありがたい
貴様を忘れとは野党だなせめて握るものをもらうため俺の立場か立ちの食べ物と薬に変えたなんだと怒るな相手を捉えた本当ですか金でさ心もとない使えそうなものもらっとるな盗めとるやろか持ち主はとっくに死んでる成果を見せてみろわしを撃ってみろはいおじ上さあ撃ってこいわし当ててみろ<笑>クロスジン撃ってこい
強力で敵を翻せ即撃で仕留めろ<笑>やめろこうさんだ加減しましたねしておらん立ちであったらわしは死んでおった嘘ですお前に嘘をつくものかよし次はわしの攻めを防いでみるでもこの持ちするでないぞよしまだ攻めんな呼びぞ痛みに耐えてみせるよし<笑>では受け流しを教えよわしの動きをしかと見て打ち込まれたらすかさず防げ覚えが早いぞ。
きつくでも Watching, um, that's going to be all for me. Um, please consider liking, subscribing. Um, let me know if there's any other information or anything like that that you want to see. Um, again, I'll keep. I mean, I'm going to be doing more videos of this. I'm still figuring this, you know, this t new TV out and, and using it. And I mean, for gaming, it's just it's a no-brainer. Like for gaming, it's completely a no-brainer. Um, this is an amazing panel. It's amazing technology, like, if all you're thinking about is gaming, whether it's computer, or a PC, or PlayStation 4, or Xbox One X, or, you know, the, the new consoles when they come out, this is a no-brainer. This TV is freaking amazing. It's a, it's a great size that it's not, it's not imposing, and it does not hurt me from, like, staring at it for hours, because I literally, I sit here for hours for work. Um, and this TV is perfect. 
Um, it, it dims itself and different things like that to protect the screen from burn-in. Of course, I'm still worried about burn-in, um, but by the time burn-in shows up, I've already gotten my money's uh, worth out of it. So I'm, I'm concerned that it could possibly happen, but I'm not like afraid of it happening. Um, a lot of people replace their monitors after a certain amount of time anyway, so. Um, but I expect this to be here two, three years at the minimum without any issues. Um, my main TV over there that I'm not gonna get up to turn the camera around is, is an LG C8, and I game on that all the time, every single day, with fixed um, you know, maps, HUD displays, and all that different stuff, NBA 2K, Call of Duty, um, you name it, you know, I play it. And I've had that TV for over two years, and there's no issues with burn-in whatsoever. And I mean long hours <laughs> of gaming. So um, not even just like, you know, one hour, two hours at a time, refresh. But, like, I work hard during the week, so on the weekend, I game, I do other stuff. But, um, yeah. So, again, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. Um, you know, uh, and, and I'll do my best to answer them or um, put it in the next video, but thanks for watching. Um, so consider to like, or consider to subscribe, please like, and share if you, if you will. Um, have a great weekend. See you next time.